about me converting my race car to run on an alternative fuel, E85. You've seen me on Octane TV, host of Sexy Road Test, 24 Hours of Lemons, Drift Scene. But this show, Racing Greener, is my legacy. My car has gone through quite a few changes. Brakes, suspension, LSD, sexy aggressive paint scheme. Now it's time to go from drift to grip. Now you know where I came from. So come along for the ride and see where I'm going. The conversion starts at M-Works, the shop run by my crew chief, Steve Mitchell. I'm getting ready for GT Live. GT Live is the biggest event for me of this season, but it's also um, a big step for my team. I'm actually gonna be converting this car, <laughs> which is now a road racing car, to a green car. So right now I currently run on 110 leaded fuel and I'm going to be converting it to run on E85 fuel. So that's a huge thing for me. what kinds of predicaments we might get ourselves into, what we really need as far as fuel, supplies, and things like that, and what's different about tuning. So we've done all our research, and this is basically step one <laughs> of going into it and, and making it happen. A couple of changes that we made to the car since I've drifted it to become a road racer car was we switched out to LSD. I was running a two-way LSD and we switched out to 1.5-way so it's not as aggressive. I have KW suspension which is a truly double adjustable suspension and I actually am using my crew chief's brakes from his car. I do have a long, long list of things to do. Check fluids, but as we were talking, we added a few more. Injector, sway bars, gurney flaps, camber arms, tow bolts, line, corner balance, and the list goes on and on. My first test is on June 7th, and today is May 28th. Um, it's a lot to do. And as you can see, we're trying to make it faster, so <laughs> it's a star marina. Equals save weight, equals faster lap time, so no pizza and ice cream for me. I need to eat something now. I'm also going to be working on putting on parts for suspension to get more traction. I have rear camber arms um, that are adjustable that I've ordered. The reason why I'm changing the camber arms is because the ones that I've ordered, they're adjustable cam camber arms. I don't have the strain. Take it off. Sometimes it's just one bolt that, you know, it seems so simple. I'll just take off the bolt, but it gets me. Huh, there we go. And as you can see, if I want more camber, if I want less camber, that way um, we're at the track and we're rushing to get something done, making a quick change. We know just by looking at it, just at a glance, which way we need to turn it. I showed you the long list of, um, of stuff that Steve wants me to get done or that it should get done before the first test day. Whether it will get done or not, um, well, we're gonna try to make it happen. Tomorrow I hope to install the injectors, but I've never installed injectors before, so I would definitely need help. It's running a little rough. I don't know what it could be. 